Hello, you wonderful, beautiful people. So I'm here today with another big Timu haul. And as always, this is not sponsored. I bought everything with my own money. I'm just doing this from the joy of sharing. Also, I wanted to say that I have joined the affiliate program and that program is open for anybody to join. So I have my link down below. You can click on it to receive a coupon bundle, but nothing in this haul is sponsored or received through the affiliate program. This is a haul that I bought all by myself. And this haul here, it actually took a while to arrive. It took over two weeks. For the first time ever, I actually received the credit that Team offers if it takes over a certain date to get your order. So I received a fiver for the order being late, which is very nice, of course, but I would rather have had the items earlier, of course. So how is everyone today? Let me pull a card for you. This is the Woodland Wardens Oracle. I also got this from Timo. Let's see what the day has got in store for us today. I'm filming this in the morning, so for me, it's just the beginning of the day now. But whatever time you're watching this, let's see what the Oracle has to say. We got the squirrel and the chestnut. And this card stands for preparation. So like the squirrel gathers the chestnuts. I'm gathering these Timo items in preparation of the future. <laughs> well, no, I'm not a prepper. So let's see what I got this time. Okay, first out of the bag is this personal alarm. And um, yeah, I got this because it's an owl and I absolutely love owls. And this one comes in several different colors. You can see the colors here. There is black, purple, pink, green, white, and blue. And it looks like they've marked black, but I thought I ordered purple, so we'll see what color I got. But yeah, this is a personal alarm that rings up to 130 decibels, so that's quite loud. And it's a keychain, so you can just carry it with you. And it also has a LED light. So I've actually never had a personal alarm before, but here where I live, we are not allowed to carry any pepper spray or anything like that. We are not allowed to really have any self-defense uh, tools. So personal alarm is allowed. So I thought since I do live in the city, if in case it ever happens, knock on wood, no on wood that it doesn't, but if it happens that I'm in, a, in an emergency situation or somebody is having bad intentions with me, then, um, or if it ever happens I'm in a situation where I don't feel comfortable, I can just uh, hold on to my alarm in case there is somebody that makes me feel uncomfortable and then if something happens I can just pull this to launch the alarm. So this is grey. I thought I ordered purple, maybe I ordered grey. I will check. Okay, I did order cray. I thought I ordered the purple, but apparently I ordered cray. So this is how it looks. It's a keychain. And it has this to release the alarm. If you pull this out, the alarm will ring, which is really loud. And it's supposed to have a light, so I wonder how the light works. There is a button on the side, is that the light? Okay, yeah, the button on the side is the light. The light is just at the bottom. So you keep pressing the button in order to get the light, which could be handy in case you need to open a door so you can point into the key. I don't want to blind you, sorry. But yeah, there, there is the light. Should I test the alarm? It's probably really loud and I hope my neighbors will not freak out, but it should work. Um, let's see. Here are the instructions it comes with, a small booklet. Personal alarm user manual. Pull out the plug, the alarm will work. Put in the plug, the alarm will stop working. So to get it to ring, you pull this out and make it stop, you put it back in. Oh, you can press the switch for the first time, the light remains on. Press again, the light will be turned off. Okay, but if I press it, it uh, doesn't stay on. You have to keep pressing in order to keep it on. It says this product has standby time of 12 to 24 months, which is really good. And it's equipped with three pieces of LR44 button batteries 
If the battery needs to be replaced, simply use a screwdriver to unscrew the screws on the back of the product to replace it. So that's nice. You can also replace the batteries. Just unscrew the back. Okay, should I test it out? Now I feel a little bit nervous to test this out. It's going to be so loud. It's 130 decibels. That's loud, but not super loud, right? Okay, I will test it out quickly. So if you're wearing headphones, maybe take them out or turn down the volume. Here we go. Okay, that's super loud. It actually rings in my ears too. Wow, okay, yeah, this is great. <laughs> Just have to be careful not to launch it uh, accidentally in your bag. But yeah, you do have to pull this out to get it to launch, so it should be okay. Whew, wow, that was so loud. The personal alarm was 3.55. I didn't film last week because I was actually having the worst ever eczema flare-up. So if there is anyone else out there who also suffers from eczema, I truly feel for you. I had it really bad and this last week I still have some, but it was all over my face and my neck this time. And yeah, I obviously didn't feel like being in front of camera, but also my order had not arrived yet. I just got this yesterday, so I thought I was going to film a Timu favorites video because I have quite a few items that I've used a lot from Timu. So let me know if you'd like to see that. I can film it maybe next week. And um, so yeah, I, I was having an eczema flare up and I still have it around my eyebrows and on my neck, hence the turtleneck. So if you see anything red, it's or bumps, it's just my eczema. Okay, let's see what else I got. So, I also got a couple of pyjamas, and this is the first time I've actually ever ordered pyjamas from Timo. So, I'm really curious how they are like. I ordered this set in size medium, and this is a short sleeve top. with beautiful moths. Are they butterflies? I would say they're moths. And crescent moons and some plants. I really love this design. I ordered this because of this beautiful uh, design. I really love this design. And the colors, this is right up my alley. Yeah, I was hoping um, the material would be really soft. And it is soft, but it's not like super soft. It's just normal, normal soft. It feels pleasant. It doesn't feel hard or anything. It's, it's very nice. And it comes with the bottoms, which are... I hope this size will work for me. I didn't want to order small in case it's a, a little small, because of course for pyjamas I like to have some more room. But I hope yeah, the waist is okay, because it's just a, um, it's just the elastic waist. There is no drawstring at all. And it's a long leg. I really like this so yeah it's still super cold in here we are almost at the end of april now but the weather is still super cold i went out the day before yesterday my long winter jacket can you believe this it's supposed to be spring now but it doesn't feel like it but today actually is really nice and sunny outside finally it's been really rainy and bad weather here over, over the last few weeks so i'm glad um it's at least sunny but i would hope for a little bit warmer weather it's still really cold so this pyjama was 804 and yeah I do love the material, um, I mean I do love the print and the material seems alright so I will see how it fits. I will um, wash these before I use them just in case because sometimes I think they do spray something uh, into the clothes in the warehouse to prevent any bugs or things of that nature so sometimes they do have a smell when they arrive it's a slight smell this time not very uh, strong but I will wash it before I use it next over here I got another pyjama so yeah I went on a bit of a pyjama kick because as you know when you're on team you click on one thing and then it shows you more of the same thing so this one I got because it was really affordable it was only $4.99 and I got this one also in a medium. This one is this cherry print in pink and I thought this was super cute. But this one is a long sleeve, which is good it arrived now that we are still having cold weather in here. Just a long sleeve top 
full length. And this one, the material feels really soft, softer than the other one, so I'm glad. And this one also comes with long bottoms. Not cuffed or anything, just straight, just like the other ones. And the waistline again is just elastic, no drawstring. So I hope this size will be okay for me. But yeah, this material feels really soft. I really love the way it feels. This 95% polyester, 5% elastane. It feels really nice. Should I check the other one if it's the same? Other one the same, 95% polyester, 5% elastane, but the materials do feel different. This one feels just like regular type of cotton feeling, even it's not. This one feels more of that super soft material. But this one was $4.99, so that was great. Next, I got one more thing for pyjamas. So this one is actually a men's t-shirt. But I thought I will wear it as a nightshirt. So this one, I got it in size extra large in men's. And it was $6.55. And it is this husky t-shirt so it has this adorable picture of a husky in the front he's standing in the grass i thought this was beautiful look at his blue eyes i'm absolutely crazy about huskies i love huskies so much so yeah, I had to get this because it was super cute. So I got this immense extra large. I hope it will be long enough to wear as a night shirt. It's not super long, but it looks like it could be all right. So yeah, I wanted to have this. And this one is actually a different kind of material. You can see it has this kind of small holes in it. It's this kind of sport jersey type of material, which I don't know. I'm I'm not a big fan of this material actually. But it does feel nice and silky. Not super silky, but you know, slick. Let's see what this is made out of. This is 100% polyester. And the print is on both sides. So I'm eager to see how that will work as a little pyjama top. Then talking about huskies, I got something else husky themed as well. This little cute pouch. And this is super cute. So this pouch was $2.99. And it's just a small pouch with a zipper. And the lining is floral. <laughs> That's so cute. And the outside is really soft blush material. At the back it's just black. And in the front is this husky's face print. This one is not blush, it's just a sleek material. But I thought this was so cute with the husky with a little butterfly on her nose. And you could uh, get this in different designs. There was also a husky making just a funny face and a husky with his tongue out. So that was super cute. And uh, yeah, I thought this was so adorable. And I think it's really well made with the lining uh, of this different material, the beautiful print and the plush at the back. This is really nice, really beautifully made. So I'm looking forward to having that in my bag and having this cute little husky companion with me at all times. I love her. Also, I wanted to show you guys. I got this new mug. And I think this is just the cutest mug of all time. It's this mushroom print with a ladybug and some flowers on top. I got this one. Um, this is not from Team. I got this from TK Maxx. But I just wanted to show it because I thought it was so cute. sip of water don't forget okay let's see what else i got in here okay next i have this sign so this is one of those tin signs that there are a lot of on timo and i've ne never actually ordered one before so this is my first one and yeah it arrived a little bent which is 
not a surprise because they pack everything in a plastic bag but yeah it is kind of annoying to get it bent they should have probably wrapped it in some cardboard or something to get it to arrive straight but let's see how it looks This is the sign and this one was 448. So it's a black dot coffee. Awaken the senses. And yeah, I love coffee and I love dogs. So I thought this was adorable. I want to put it in my kitchen in my coffee corner. But yeah, looking at it, the print is actually not so nice that I would like. It's a little blurry and you can see the printing stripes on it. I don't know if you can see that yeah there so it's not the best but i do think it's adorable and this one was 448 which i think is kind of a lot for this but yeah it is thin and this is the size of it i will put it in my kitchen i think it's cute okay next i got some necklaces again so yeah i'm necklace crazy and by the way i would like to make a video about my um, favorite necklaces I've got them from Timo. Maybe it's better to make a short of it, but I would like to do that because I have some that I really like and I got more again because yeah, necklaces are so affordable in Timo. They are really um, something I like to throw in my order if I try to make a certain threshold for a coupon or so. Yeah, by the way, I never place an order without coupons, so Timo keeps giving coupons um, quite often through the messages. So I always try to um, use a coupon for my orders to get another uh, another percentage off or another uh, few bucks off my order. So yeah, the first necklace I got this time is this one. It's this butterfly and it should be natural stone inside of it. And I chose tiger's eye. So this necklace, you could get it in different uh, crystals in it. This is how the back looks like. It's beautiful. So yeah, I chose Tiger's Eye, but you could also get Amethyst, Jade, I think, Rose Quartz, Clear Quartz, Opalite, Onyx. There were a lot of different options, but I thought uh, this Tiger's Eye was really cute. With the natural effect of the tiger's eye glowing so i thought it looks a little bit like a natural brown butterfly i thought it was really cute it's a short um short cord with adjustable chain i don't know if i'm wearing too many necklaces already but i i want to put it on well in my opinion you can never have too many necklaces because it's nice to add a little touch of something to your outfit and a necklace is an easy way to do that. I'm not really big on bracelets because I think they get in the way, but yeah, I think they are beautiful, of course, but I think necklaces are easier to wear, so I do tend to have a few necklaces. I'm not big on mixing uh, metals and yeah, my sun necklace here and the goddess necklace here are gold and this one has silver accents, so I don't know if I like that. Should have made it a little longer, I think. So yeah, I don't know if I would actually wear these necklaces together because I have two other necklaces with gold on it and this one has some silver details. I don't really mix metals normally. I know people do that and you can do that. It's totally fine. But I don't know, it's not really a look I go for. This is how it looks. You can make it a little longer. I put it in about the middle setting here, but I think this is super cute. And this one was only 174. That's great. Okay, another necklace I got is this one. And this one was also really affordable, only 119. And it's this longer black bead chain. Beaded chain. With some blue and yellow beads and then this pendant that has this kind of a fake amber look again and yeah this one also has silver details which yeah i'm more of a gold person but 
it's just a bit of silver so it's all right i don't think it's distracting actually to wear something like this with gold accessories but yeah to each their own but i think this is really pretty and it's quite a long uh, necklace and this one is not adjustable it's just uh, straight like this yeah that's really pretty i will put it in my husky pouch for now another necklace i've got so yeah i told you i went on a bit of a necklace rampage again this is another natural stone necklace oh no it has a brown cord and i really thought the cord was black so i don't know if i love that but it's another natural stone and this one i chose amethyst and it's a little hot so you can choose different uh, natural stones also for this necklace there was many option options there was um rose quartz onyx clear quartz i think citrine jade aventurine something like that but i chose amethyst for this one and i think i got a really pretty stone i like the i like it the way it looks but this one just comes in a cord and it's adjustable with this little bead but the cord is brown and it's dark brown i don't know if you can see that it looks black in the camera but in person it is dark brown and i don't love that i will look at it closer to the window to make sure dang it i knew it the cord is dark brown so it looks almost black but when you look at it in the natural light it is dark brown so i would prefer it to be black and it looked black in the picture so i'm a little bit disappointed in that but the stone at least is really pretty so i'm happy and this necklace was 244 okay i have one more necklace over here and this one i've been seeing on him a lot so i wanted to get it and it was only 113 so this is it this is really childlike green beads with a pink heart on it my inner child really wanted it so let me have it okay but this one actually looks quite different than in the pictures on timo in the pictures the heart was a lot bigger so if i get, get the heart to stop moving if i get the heart to stop moving you can see it it's a small pink heart and it's quite a large cream beads it's just a short necklace with a short adjustable chain it's not really how i expected it to be it looks even more childish in person than in the pictures and yeah i really wish the heart was bigger and lighter pink like in the pictures so i do feel a little catfished with this one i'll probably ask my money back because it doesn't look like the picture at all okay, let's see what we have next so i got this little train for the sink this is for fruits and vegetables and this one was 198 and it's this little training basket you could use this for washing fruits and vegetables or um anything you would like by the sink so the idea is you can hook it onto the tap and then have it um hanging on the side of your sink it's a good size it's actually a little bigger than i expected i was expecting this to be really small my partner actually saw this in an ad online so it was somebody showing how they have this hooked onto the sink while they are doing the dishes and then um it's easy if you have any leftovers on your plate to just um put the leftovers first here and then uh, at last dump it into the dump it into the trash instead of with every plate go to the trash so you could use this for any leftovers on your plate or if you're cleaning fruits or vegetables you could use this for peeling them washing them this has actually many uses so that's really handy i think he will like it and i think it has a funny detail the hook looks like little swans or ducks head kind of do you see that or is that just me so it is nice and it's a good size bigger than i expected 
Okay, next over here, I got an alarm clock. So this one was 439. And here are the functions. So um, it lights up, it has the time, alarm, snooze mode. It can tell you the indoor temperature. It has a calendar function. You can choose between 12 or 24 hour setting. And you can choose between the temperature in Celsius or Fahrenheit. Uh, it also has high and low brightness and brightness darkens at night automatically. So that's really cool. Um, it's dark at night between six in the evening and six in the morning. And it has a silent button. So that's nice. So this one was 439 and I got this for our bedroom because I thought it looked really nice. And I think this one came in white and black and I chose the white. It also comes with a manual. So yeah, you can um, have five different display modes, clock mode, date mode, temperature mode, night mode, alarm mode. That's five key operations, mode, alarm, up, down, snooze, light. Okay, so I will have to play around with this to see how to set it up. It has a lot of instructions for the operation here, how to set up different functions. And this is the alarm clock itself. It comes in a bubble wrap, which is good. I got this because I thought it looked cool with the mirrored effect. So it has a protective plastic here to peel off. If I get it to peel off, the sticker didn't peel it. Okay, here we go. So yeah, it's straight up mirrored. And this is the back. You can see the different buttons and the speakers. So yeah, you should be able to set this up with the time and date and temperature. It comes with a USB cord. So I think this one, um, you can just use it plugged in with the USB plug or it can also be charged. So I will put that at our bedside and see how it goes. I'll probably ask my partner to set this up. He likes to set up different gadgets. Yeah, I think this is actually really nice for about for 439. This is really nice. All right, so here I have set up the alarm clock and um, the setup was pretty easy. It took me a while to figure it out, but here it is now. So it has different modes and here I have it on the mode where it's switching through the different um, modes that it has on the clock. So there is the date, the temperature of the room and the time. Uh, I really like the way this alarm clock looks. It's very sleek and nice. The mirrored background is beautiful. And I have it here on my TV console, which is also a um, glossy surface. So you can see it's uh, reflecting there. And I think it looks really pretty. I will actually probably keep it here in my living room instead of bringing it to my bedroom, just because it looks so nice. And it has a lot of different functions. So here, there is a way for me to change the brightness. So here the brightness is low, medium and high. So you can select if you'd like to have it brighter or less bright. And it has this automatic function as well that it goes automatically, automatically darker in the night. So I really like it and I think it was great for the price. Okay, let's see what we have left in the bag. I got a package of um, ponytail holders and these ones were 89 cents. So we have here five of them. They come in different natural colors, which I really liked. We have a natural white, off-white, this taupe, dark brown, light brown and black. So I thought this looked really nice. They are quite thick, which I liked because I think they are more gentle for your hair like this than really thin ones they don't have any metal bits or anything like that so that's great inside is elastic 
So I like to use um, hair ties that are more gentle for your hair, like scrunchies I use mostly. Or if I want to make a ponytail, I use two soft hair ties without any metal in them. So these ones will look nice. I will try them out. I have not had this type before that are that thick, but I think they look nice and gentle to the hair. So I like those. Okay. Then over here, I have a little print. And this is the first time I've received a print that actually comes in a plastic tube, which is great because it's more protective for them. I've ordered a lot of prints. I really like the prints I have some framed over here actually of my favorite painter, uh, John William Waterhouse. His two paintings are here by my side. I have the mermaid and the, I think it's called Midsummer Eve. But those are two really beautiful, magical paintings that I really enjoy. I enjoy his style. And I have his third one here actually as well. I have the, I forget what this painting is called. It's this lady in a boat, mm, this redhead, lady in a boat what is it called again the name of the painting escapes me but it's one of his more famous pieces but yeah i enjoy the prints from timo i like to put them in a frame and then just display them so i got another print here and this one it's more of a cartoonish drawing style and it's this mermaid in a bathtub I thought that was super cute. She has a glass of wine on her tail and this old-fashioned bathtub. So I thought that was beautiful. But at the bottom of it, it says, get naked. Which, I don't know, I feel like that's a little bit too forward for me. So I had an idea for this. I want to make a sign for my bathroom door. So I want to put this in a frame and um, cover this part because I think it's a bit too much for me. Just... Uh, yeah, I mean, we have visitors and things. I don't want to have something that says get naked on my bathroom door. Like, please don't get naked in my bathroom. So I got this print, which was 179. I got it in this small size because, yeah, obviously for the bathroom door, you don't need something so big. So I want to get like a black frame for it. Maybe a gold frame would be nice as well, but I think I will just go with a black frame. And then I thought, I could just cut off the get naked part and get a smaller frame if I find the right size. Or I got this other sign, which is a wooden bathroom sign. And I thought maybe I can put this inside the frame together with the print and cover the part, the get naked part, and replace it with this bathroom sign. So this is a wooden sign that says bathroom. But this one actually... Um, doesn't look that great well it was only 192 and it is wood but it looks a little messy so this one comes with this little twine that you can use to tie it into corners and then hang it up in your bathroom door on your bathroom door but this one the text of it it looks like it has bled so i don't know if this is just painted or if it actually if it actually is hot stamped into it, but it looks like the color has bled into the wood. I don't know if it's really easy to see in the camera, but in real life, it looks a little messy. Yeah, there you can see it. So I don't like the way this looks actually, but my idea was to put this print in a frame, cover the get naked part with this bathroom sign, And then fashion all this in a frame, which, yeah, if I find a frame that is this size, because yeah, normally the team of prints come in standard sizes, so it's easy to find a frame that is this size. I think this is the A4 size, or a little longer than that, we'll see. So yeah, if I put it all the way to the bottom, then it covers her tail a bit, so maybe I would like to have it only there maybe i can cut this wooden sign somehow or i will because it doesn't actually look really great maybe i will just cut off the get naked part because i rather not have it and just have this print in a frame on my bathroom door i think it's obvious enough with the bathtub that that's the bathroom so yeah i got those 
I can put the links to these items down below if anybody's interested. And like I said, this is uh, not sponsored. I don't get anything from the links. I did join the affiliate program that is open to anybody. So if you would like to check that out, I put the link down below as well. You can see if you can get a coupon bundle through my link. If you like this video, please leave a like. It would really help me out. Uh, leave your comments down below and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for everyone who has already done that. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for watching this video. I wish you a beautiful day or evening whenever you're watching this. I'll see you again next time. Bye.